K. Prakash, working as Constant Officer in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Today we are going to discuss a topic related to the solar energy utilization. So what is meant by solar energy utilization? So before going to the topic, we will have a small discussion on solar energy. So what is solar energy? What is the need for solar, solar energy? Why we want to focus on this? This is the discussion today. So today energy is very very important in our day to day life. For various activities to lead our life, energy plays a very important role. If you take our domestic purpose, we are using water heaters, we are using cloths for ironing, we are using cooking purpose, we are using electrical appliances, we need electricity. So in our day to day life without electricity we can't live. So energy is playing a vital role in the form of electricity. So this energy is mainly focused on fossil fuels that is non-renewable energy and some energy is from renewable energy. So why, what is the need for renewable energy? What about non-renewable energy? So if you go for uh, non-renewable energy, fossil fuels we are, which we are using is getting depleted day by day. As the population is increasing and usage is also increased day by day, the depletion of fossil fuels is happening day by day. And the next one is the uh, pollution. Pollution plays a major role in our day-to-day -day life. Because the pollution from domestic vehicles, domestic purpose and if you go for industries, so the pollution is playing a vital role. So this leads to global warming. So these are the reasons why we have to switch off from the non-renewable energy into renewable energy sources. So coming to the renewable energy sources. So in the renewable energy sources, there are a lot of renewable energy available. So what is the need for going for renewable energy resources? So the first and foremost thing is, the renewable energy is free of cost. So it is available plenty in nature. So if it's take the types, there are solar energy, is one of the renewable energy, wind energy, there is a renewable energy, and then tidal energy, and then uh, if you go for uh, hydro, it is also uh, energy related to uh, renewable so these much of energies are in uh, renewable energies. So why we want to focus here is, so this is abundant in nature, we can utilize it and there is no problem of emission towards the environment. So if you are going with the renewable energy resources, then we can save the environment and we can help the environment to be sustainable and, and uh, coming to the our peoples and the social uh, places where the pollutions can be avoided. So this is about the solar energy and all other renewable energies. So now coming to the narrow downing, we are going to discuss about the solar energy. Okay. So what is solar energy? So solar energy is an energy which is obtained from the radiation of the sun. In the previous video lectures, we have discussed about the solar radiation. So this solar energy is abundant in nature and uh, based on the geological conditions it may be varying. So this solar energy can be utilized wherever it is necessary. Uh, so this solar energy has wide applications but in our day to day life as the population is increasing and increasing day by day, uh, the per capita of energy consumption is also becoming more and more. But uh, now we have to focus on the renewable energy sources to safeguard the environment also to meet the demand. So which energy is available in abundant that we have to go in search. So that is why we are focusing on solar energy. So in this lecture series we are going to discuss about the solar energy and its benefits and its utilization. Okay. And another most thing is uh, the Indian government is making some policies to implement the solar energy. Nowadays in our domestic purpose, in our houses we can, now the new houses, uh, now schemes are initiated with solar powered houses. So the new houses are built with solar power which uh, the subsidy is given from the uh, government itself. So like this, the Indian government is making policies to conserve the energy uh, which is coming out of the fossil fuels and to utilize these renewable energy resources uh, in, in a very large way. So, based on this, today we are going to discuss in this lecture series, we have seen the, some introduction about the uh, solar energy. 
and in the upcoming videos we will discuss about the uh, what are all the applications of solar energy how it is that we use how it is in our uh, real time purposes thank you